Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we're going to be doing things a little bit different. As you can see, I hope you guys can hear me because I currently do not have a setup with a microphone. We are pulling the camera close to my makeup and we're going to be showing off my makeup collection today. So I know a lot of you guys have been asking about the makeup that I have behind me in every single video. So originally I was going to do a clean up my beauty room and declutter video. Um, I'm way too tired and exhausted to do that lately. If you do want it, let me know and I will make that happen. But I don't even have makeup on today. I just wanted to show you guys my makeup, show you my collection so you guys can see some of my favorites and all the different products that I have in case there was something that you wanted to know more about. So without further ado, let's go ahead and see what's in my collection. So all of these up here are my foundations currently. I know this is a lot, but in reality, I have decluttered a lot of my foundations, especially for shades that were old or just didn't match me. So this is what I got left with. This whole entire first row are my go-to foundations that I use constantly for my videos. Besides this new Fenty one, I have yet to try it, but I will be trying it soon. Some of my go-to ones, which clearly has been used a lot, is my ColourPop No Filter Foundation, has been a favorite of mine, as well as the Too Faced Born This Way Foundation. Um, another good one is the Benefit Hello Happy Soft Blur Foundation. And these two have been my diehard favorites lately. We have the Pure 4-in-1 Love Your Selfie Foundation, which gives me the perfect velvet matte finish that I love. And then a really good drugstore one that I've been obsessed with is the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Makeup Foundation. I really, really like this. This is one of the first foundations I had when I was first trying out makeup, and I just haven't found one that has worked as well as that one has. I do have a few others in the back here that are for when I get lighter or darker as the seasons change. So they kind of stay here so they're not in the front. And then the ones all the way in the back are a little bit more darker, a little bit more lighter, that I just keep it back there in case I need it, but I rarely reach back there to touch it. So if you ever want any recommendations on some of my favorite foundations, I definitely recommend the Morphe foundations, the L'Oreal True, uh, L'Oreal True Match Lumi, the Benefit Hello Happy, um, I don't really use the NYX ones anymore, so I'll probably get rid of those soon, and then I'm hoping that this is going to be a new favorite. But, like I said before, if you guys want recommendations and want to try out new foundations, this whole entire first row here is definitely something you're going to want to try. This first little cubby section right here, we have all of my powder foundations or translucent powders here. So I have a lot of the CoverGirl Full Spectrum um, powder foundations because they sent me the whole entire collection and I store them all in here because I really really like them um, as well as some of my favorite setting powders we have Derma Blend Professional Illuminating Banana Powder another one that I use all the time is the Lancome Long Time No Shine Powder and the Becca Cosmetics Powder down here I even have a brand new one because I'm starting to run out soon so I stock up on it but I can't fit it in here because I have so many things in here so I just stick it at the top and another one that you guys have recommended in the past is the makeup revolution luxury bathing baking powder um, I've used it a couple of times and I liked it I just haven't I need to put this back there we go I just haven't had a chance to like do a review or anything with it so I have not done that just yet the next section we have here are all of my primers. I have a ton of primers in here and realistically, I think I only use like three of them. So I definitely need to declutter this mess here. My number one primer that I use all the time is the Il Maquillage No Filter Poreless Base Smoothing Primer. Just it gives me a smooth finish and I really, really like this primer. Another one that is basically the same as the Il Maquillage is the Maybelline Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser and then the Benefit Professional Primer as well. So I like these. Um, as far as a color correcting primer, my go-to is always the NYX Cosmetic one, um, especially this one and the yellow primer. Whenever I do color correcting, I usually do it in the primer form. So these are some good ones. Um, I haven't tried a lot of the other ones that I have in here, like the Pore Be Gone 
matte primer from First Aid Beauty that I definitely need to give it a shot. And then I have a few in here that I need to get rid of because they're old um, or I just don't like them at all. So like the Maybelline Master Prime, it's a good primer. It's just old, so I need to get rid of it. Um, a few other primers in here I don't really like or use. So I know I need to... Down here, these two cubbies are all lippy cubbies. There is no organization whatsoever because I do not organize my lippies. However, I do have a big variety. I have a ton of Anastasia liquid lips. I have my Il Maquillage collection in here as well. Um, a bunch of different ColourPop, ultra glossy, ultra matte. Some of them just fell on the floor. <laughs> um, another good brand that I've been obsessed with is the Wee Dot Makeup. They have a, lo a lot of colorful lipsticks, so I definitely recommend them. Um, yeah, this is as far as this row. It's really heavy, so I'm going to put this back. The next collection I have has a lot more drugstore liquid lips. It wasn't even planned like this, but this is how it is. I have a ton of ColourPop Full Spectrum in here. I have my absolute favorite go-to CoverGirl, lip, uh, what is it called? melting pout matte lip gloss so the shade paradise lost is my absolute favorite shade all the time i have a ton of different dose of color lipsticks in here when they had a sale some deck of scarlet lipsticks as well and if you're looking for a super awesome clear lip gloss i just recently purchased the mac lip glass and i know that a lot of lip artists who do really pretty lip looks on instagram use this and it's definitely worth it. It's a little bit pricey, but I am definitely obsessed with this one. And then as far as drugstore brands, we have a lot of Revlon Ultra HD. We have some L'Oreal Infallible. I love this whole entire collection. Um, and some brands that aren't well known as well. I have some Lick Cosmetics uh, glosses in here. Some Chow Bianca liquid lipsticks as well. So down here in the first tier, we have a lot of the Huda Beauty um, jeweled obsessions. I only have three of them right now, the red, purple, and the green. We have some Il Maquillage palettes over here, some BH Cosmetics palettes. My favorite, the It's My Ray Ray palette, the Carly by Belle, and then the, what is it called again? Take Me Back to Brazil palette is another of my favorites. BH was the first palette, uh, BH Cosmetics was the first set of palettes that I ever had when I was practicing makeup. So I definitely like them. I just don't use them as much anymore. Um, just because I have so many different palettes to try out. So another section I hear are Tarte Cosmetics palettes. So we have the Double Duty Beauty and then the Tarte Leave Your Mark palette. Up at the top, we have two of the Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. We have the Prism palette. And then one of my absolute favorites is the Riviera palette. Such pretty colors in here. Over here in this corner, we have a bunch of different Morphe palettes because I absolutely love that we have a Morphe store nearby. So this one is the Day Slayer palette. And then this one is the Your True Selfie palette. I can't remember what they are. Okay, so this one is greens and oranges. And this one is a neutral and I think the last one we have back here is pinks brunch babe this is my absolute favorite Morphe palette ever this is just the colors are so so pretty so if you've been looking to get a Morphe palette I definitely recommend the brunch babe one it's my absolute favorite next we have a bunch of different pixie beauty ones here some color pop ones here a few different CoverGirl, some Wet n Wild. I have more Wet n Wild on the other side. And then the new Fancy Beauty palette that I have still yet to try out or use is here. It's like hasn't even been touched yet. But I promise I'm going to use this soon. And then some Beauty Bakery and some Too Faced. Um, I don't really ever use Too Faced anymore since I started the whole makeup page, but they used to be a brand that I would go to all the time. The next thing we're going to talk about is one of my little rotating shelves of skincare. All of this on this one and the one over there is full of skincare. 
because I'm obsessed. So this has a lot of skincare products here particularly that I have yet to try. Um, I have this Garnier Skin Active Cleansing Water that a lot of you have say that you really, really like this to help remove your makeup. So I bought a little mini size from Target to check it out. I also have never tried the Bliss brand before, so I bought the makeup melts and then a few of their little mini masks to check it out. I have yet to open these, but I just love the little colors. Oh, this isn't it, just kidding. These little Bliss ones. Um, I have some 4th Ray Beauty in here. This is the ColourPop skincare sister brand. So this is a good brand that's affordable and they have a big variety of skincare and I just love how all of them smell really nice. A new skincare product that I have gotten recently is the Dr. Dennis Gross Alpha Beta Peeling. Oh, the wrong language, right here. Alpha Beta Extra Strength Daily Peel. So I've heard a lot of people say that this works very well for oily skin to help balance, clear, and smooth your skin. So I've only tried it for like a few days. I haven't seen results yet, um, but it hasn't irritated my skin or bothered my skin. So for it being extra strength and me having extra skin, or extra skin, sensitive skin, I think this has been doing a pretty good job lately. Okay, so I had to switch to putting the phone on my hand. It was just getting crazy trying to move the ring light constantly, but we will continue. The next cubby we have here are all of my lipsticks, or the rest of my lipstick collection, I guess you can say. We have the new Huda Beauty lipstick kits that I just recently got. I decided to put it with my For Her Vanity lipstick organizer because I thought it matched perfectly. I have a bunch of different lipsticks here that are mostly nudes, I believe. I put them in here so that I can quickly grab them when I do videos and then just put them on without having to go through anything. So a lot of them are like ColourPop. We have some Becca Cosmetics. We have some Mor Morga, I believe is how you say, cosmetics lipsticks. And then of course my Il Maquillage lipsticks are in here as well. And then down here, if I can open it with one hand. There we go. Okay, so here we have all of my lipsticks from ColourPop. We have some Made in America lipsticks, some lipsticks from Kat Von D and Ome, and then in the back corner over here, I, know, there we go. I have a lot of my Pop Beauty Permanent Pout lipsticks in here because I had nowhere else to put them. And then I also put in the back all of my Wet n Wild Beauty um, lipsticks as well. So they're all stored here until I can get a bigger organizer. Next in this cubby here, we have a few different items besides some empty wine bottles that were not supposed to be empty, but I went ahead and drank them, so oops. So for starters, I have these little Nuest Cosmetics. Um, I don't know what they're called. They're like two-in-one face compact. I can't remember, but they're Nuest, Nuest Cosmetics. They basically have one part foundation and then the other part is something different. So like this one is lip and cheek. And then this one is foundation and color correctors. And then this one is foundation and primer. So I keep them here because they're super cute. So basically for decoration purposes, however, the foundation was way too dark for me. So I really don't ever use them. In this first tier up here, we have all of my liquid uh, glitter eyeliners. I recently started doing glitter eyeliners, so I don't have a lot of them in here but I'm obsessed with the gold color, so most of them are gold. If you guys have any recommendations for other colors or other brands, let me know. Um, I did get the Urban Decay Heavy Metal Liners, so I'm definitely excited about those, but I do wanna branch out with some more as well. In this little cubby here, we have all of the Wet n Wild Multi Sticks in every single color they've ever made. They sent that over as part of a PR gift, and I like to use those to create different looks, especially for the Halloween season, so I like to store them all together. Shockingly, this cubby is empty. Down here, we have all of my lip liners. A lot of them are from Avon because they have felt liners that I was obsessed with. And then we have some from Il Maquillage. And I'm like, Ooh, they all fell everywhere. Okay, well, let me clean this up. So that is basically what happens when you are filming by yourself and you don't ask someone to help you. 
So lesson learned. I will definitely have someone helping me film the next time. Like I was saying before, I have a lot of Il Maquillage, Avon, and then NYX lip liners, but I'm definitely trying to expand my lip liner. So if you guys have any suggestions for other ones, please let me know. In this next cubby, we have all of my Maybelline, I believe, is it? Yeah. We have the Maybelline Superstay ink crayons. So I love that they sent the whole entire collection and I just put it all in here because I had nowhere else to put them. And then down here is one of more, my most packed drawers. This is my eyebrow drawers. These two, the ColourPop brow color and then the Anastasia zip brow are my most used. And then we have a lots of Benefit Cosmetics products. I just recently bought them so that I can start using different products for my eyebrows. So we have a lot of Benefit Cosmetics. We have the Iconic London in the back. That's a really good one as well. Next up here, we have my soon-to-be ColourPop collection. It's currently in the works. I have my big box of lippy sticks over here that they sent to me in PR last month. I have all of my Soul Body collections here because I'm absolutely obsessed with the glitter. And then I have most of my ColourPop palettes in here. I love that they're all basically the same shape so they fit perfectly. Um, that little brush organizer in the back I am going to get rid of. I haven't used anything in that whole entire little box in months so I'm just going to throw out the whole entire thing but this will be all ColourPop soon so stay tuned. So next here we have a little cubby of all of my contour palettes, uh, contour face palettes and this super cute makeup organizer from For Her Vanity. One of my most used contour palettes is this Tarte's Hamptons Weekender, Week, Weekend Ender, I don't know why I can't say that palette. It's my absolute favorite palette. As you can see, I already hit the pan on the bronzer and then I broke the highlight. So yeah, that happened. But a another palette that I use all the time is the Cover FX Face Palette. And let's see if I can open it with one hand. Haha, <laughs> I did it. So this is what the palette looks like. It doesn't have a variety of colors, but luckily all the colors work very well for me. So I definitely like this palette. Another palette that has several different colors that I think is a really good palette is the Kevin Aucoin, if I'm saying that correctly, palette. It's a little bit messed up. I think I might have dropped it. But it has a variety of um, bronzers as well as blushes and then two different highlights. So I like that it gives you a little bit of variety. These next three cubbies we'll just go through pretty quickly it's all skincare so this first one has a bunch of pixie and drunk elephants and for some reason shea moisture is in here but for the most part it's pixie and drunk elephant i love both of these brands the drunk elephant is a little pricey but it works wonders for my skin and then pixie beauty always sends me over their skincare and pr boxes so i really love that i get to try all these different kinds because they always come out with something new which i think is super cool down here we have some more pixie and some more junk elephants um, if you haven't tried any of pixie's tonics you definitely have to try it they are amazing to help with your skin and I think I have all of them so we have the glow tonic the rose tonic and then the vitamin C tonic I don't know if there's another one let me know if there is um, and I'll definitely go and get it down here we have all of my face masks and then in the back to the right we have some bath bombs up here we have some of my different little hair holders. I don't know what they're called at this time. I am exhausted, but I have these little things. Headbands, that's what it's called. Got it. And all of these face masks. I absolutely love collecting face masks. So I have so many different kinds. Um, the ones in the back are Double Dare Beauty. We have some of these watermelon face masks that I found from TJ Masks. And the, TJ Maxx. And they smell really, really good. We have some from Star Skin, some from Masquerade. What else do we have? So many different brands because I love trying new face masks. Some from Cream Shop, some from Pure Cosmetics. We have some from Pixie, some from Peach and Lily. Yeah, if you guys have a brand that you love as far as face masks go, let me know because I love, love, love buying them and I love giving them away as well. We have some from Nug Beauty as well. They're some of my favorites. 
and they come in really cute containers that you can take with you to travel as well okay so I've never shown this before but I do have a little box that I put all of my giveaway prizes in so that I know what I want to use as far as giveaway goes so this is my little box I'll do a sneak peek I'm always adding new things in here but everything in here is part of giveaways so when I do giveaways in all of my YouTube videos they come from this box and I'm going to need two hands to open it so give me one second okay so this is my little box of giveaways in this first tier down here we have a bunch of skincare products I'm gonna put all of the skincare that I'm gonna be giving away down here so far it's just a lot of pixie beauty we have some Mario Badascu moisturizers and some Amo Amor Pacific cleansing oil and moisture mask as well in the next tier we have a bunch of different brands we have some Givenchy lipstick, some more Pixie Beauty, some Wet n Wild, some ColourPop. What is over here? Some more Wet n Wild products as well. And then up here, which is one of my favorite sections, is the Jeffree Star section as far as giveaways go. We have a few different liquid frosts. We have a lip scrub, some lipstick bullets over here a bunch of velour liquid lips here and then a few jawbreaker palettes and then some Jeffree Star pop sockets as well so I'm definitely gonna be adding more into it but this is the reason why I do giveaways with all of my YouTube videos because I like to stock up on giveaway items that way I have some good goodies to give to you guys the next copy we have here are all of my Jeffree Star goodies. I was finally able to purchase the, oops, the lipstick organizers that they always sell out on. So I bought two of them and I'm hoping to stock them completely soon. They perfectly hold all of my lim mini lipsticks and then the big size ones as well. So I have all of these stocked up perfectly. In the back here we have all of my Jeffree Star palettes. So we have the Jawbreaker one, the Thirsty palette, the Blue Blood palette, the Blood Sugar, and then the Controversy palette. And then I just recently got this Morphe and Jeffree Star setting spray because people were saying how much they love this scent, so I just had to have it. We have some Liquid Frost in the back, and then I obviously toppled over the bullets. And then one of my favorite concealers right here, so. I was going to pull it in my concealer section, but I really wanted to keep it with the Jeffree Star stuff. This next copy is currently under construction because I have no idea what I'm going to do with it. But right now we have a little holder for all of my beauty blenders. Um, I use this little wooden box thing because it's able to show me all of them. And then I have my little skull brush holder here. Now this is holding very different brushes than what you're used to. I use regular paint brushes and then some nail design brushes to do looks on my face and my lips so these aren't actual makeup brushes but more like specialty brushes that you can buy at Michaels or Joann's um, they're a lot tinier to help get those perfect lines um, and those very exact details because look how tiny these products or how tiny these brushes are over here we have another drawer organizer the first top three are my blushes bronzers and highlights so up here are all of my bronzers. We have Hoola, Fenty Beauty, ColourPop, Maybelline, some Wet n Wild. Those are the bronzers. And then as far as blushes, I don't really use a lot of blushes, but I do have Lancome, Benefit, some uh, Wet n Wild, ColourPop again. My favorite one has to be this Note one, just because of the color. It's a very soft color, perfect for everyday use. I can't open it with one hand. There we go. So it's super pretty. This is the second one that I have of note. Um, but I just really like this color because it's not like a deep red. It's kind of like an orangey-ish red. Um, and it's very, very light. The next drawer we have here are all highlights, highlighters. Um, I don't even put this on my face all the time. However, I have a lot of them. So we have some from Sleek Makeup, Cover FX. Here in the back we have Nuest Cosmetics. These green ones, I believe, are Pixie, 
we have what are these these are from pop beauty this one is wet and wild i believe yeah wet and wild and then this big one right here is il maquillage the next drawer here are all of my eyeliners two weeks ago this was filled with all nyx epic ink eyeliners because that is all i use however i forced myself to branch out and try other brands i definitely still have the oh that's not it I definitely still have the NYX Epic Ink Liners because I love them so much, but you guys saw in my last video that I have actually started trying out the Too Faced Better Than Sex Eyeliner, and this one is really freaking good, so I definitely recommend it. I'm probably going to buy a second one because I can tell I'm already going to love it already. And then the last jar are all of the concealers that are actually my shade. So we have all of the Il Maquillage ones that fit me or are light that I can do cut creases with. We have some CoverGirl ones over here. We have a ColourPop, a ColourPop concealer here, some NYX concealer, Morphe concealer, Makeup Revolution because I've heard so many of you guys talk about this one. Ooh, there I go dropping it. So I have the Makeup Revolution one, some Tarte Shape Tape. I got the Sharp Tape Shape the Mini to try it out, and I did not like it, so I will not be trying out a full-size one. I know so many people rave about that one, but I do not know why. I did not like it at all. So the next copy over here, we have all of my brushes. Well, actually, part two of my brushes, because we have part three over here. So I have a crazy amount of brushes. This section here are all of my James Charles brushes. I got this for the holidays and this super cute organizer. Behind my brushes, I have some more palettes. We have the Naked 3 from Urban Decay. One of my favorite palettes here are, is the Carity Matte palettes. Look how pretty this is. I saw someone talk about this palette once and I was like, I have to have it. And I do not regret that decision. It is the best thing I've got. Next cubby we have here is some more brushes. Here we have some different face brushes and then another makeup skull with a few different brushes. Behind it, we have all of my setting sprays or priming sprays. My absolute favorite one lately is this ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Acid Setting Mist. This thing smells so freaking good. Even if I use other sprays on certain days, I use this at the end just because of the smell of it. So another one that I really like is this I Do Care Thirst Things First Revitalizing Vitamin C Mist Mask. I do this before I put on any makeup just to like freshen up my face. And then I have been definitely trying out this All Nighter Ultra Matte Setting Spray. When I tried it the first few times, it sprayed like white specks all over, which I think is to help with the matteness. However, it freaked me out because I thought I was doing something wrong. So I just have to remind myself to shake it before I use it so I don't have that happen again. And then another favorite of mine is the Smashbox Photo Finish So Chill Coconut Primer Water, simply because it smells really, really good. And obviously we have the OG back there, the Mario Badascu Facial Spray. I think I have all three of them back here. This thing doesn't turn, so it's hard to see the rest of my collection, but I have a lot of different kinds. So here we have another Mario one. We have some Pixie Beauty setting sprays, some Becca Cosmetics, some Kula, some Crush, and then we have some Wet n Wild and other drugstore ones up here as well. The next two things we have here are these little mini makeup bags. They're full of mini makeup products in here for when I am in a rush and I need to go. They basically have the basics like foundation, concealer, mascara, so I can touch up my makeup. I don't have to go through this whole entire collection to find things. I can just take one of these bags and run out of here. And then we have some loose pigments up here that I've been practicing with. I'm not a fan of loose pigments because I make a mess everywhere, but someone sent me over these super cool colors, especially these neons. So I told myself I'm gonna practice more. So if you have any tips on how to use loose pigments, please help me out because this girl is struggling. In this little cubby here, we have a bunch of loose pigments, or loose glitters, I'm sorry, from ColourPop. We have their Glitterly Obsessed Body Glitter as well. And then in the back, we have their Super Shock Shadows. The next cubby, we have some more glitter. We have all of the Wet n Wild Glitter palettes in here. 
And then we have a lot of the Suva Beauty Hydra liners. One of the best liners ever if you guys haven't tried it before. They sell them at Morphe stores. I definitely recommend. They were sold out of a lot of colors when I bought these, so I only bought some of them. But I'm going to go back and buy the rest of them. Because these are the perfect liners to use to create any type of looks. Especially lip art. They're really good for that. And then down here, we have some liquid eyeshadow. We have the OG Stila over here, liquid eyeshadow. And then we have the whole entire collection from Wet n Wild. They sent it as part of their PR kit. And then the Pixie Beauty ones as well. Now, I personally am not a fan of liquid eyeshadow. It is very, very hard to blend. But when I do cut creases, I like to use these, so I still keep them around. Really quick, because I forgot to go over this top of my makeup set, I have my little perfume collection over here. I decided I wanted to start collecting perfumes. For some reason, I'm apparently starting Victoria's Secret perfumes. So this is my collection. I definitely love floral and fruity scents. Um, so majority, that's basically what it is. If you guys have a perfume recommendation for me, please let me know. I definitely want to grow my collection. I'm starting to get into these little scrunchies. I don't want to use the typical ones that hurt when they're on your wrist. So I decided to go for these super cute ones. I switch them out all the time with my different outfits. So if you know where to find more of these, let me know as well. And then we have another tier of skincare. Most of these have been used, so they're not new. Some of my favorites include the Dermalogica Daily Microfoliant. This thing is the best thing I've ever had. I don't know why I don't buy the full size one, but it's just a game changer. Down here, another favorite of mine is Clean and Clear. Clean and Clear is one of my go-to, the best drugstore skincare I've ever tried, especially their lemon collection. It smells friggin' awesome. And if you guys have never heard of this brand before, Mali, I believe it is, Organics, has the best smelling skincare. They have beauty oils, they have body scrubs, and everything smells like a tropical island. And I believe they are from Hawaii. So definitely check this out. This brand is pretty freaking awesome. I just, I love the smell alone. And it makes my body feel so soft and smooth, and it smells like a tropical beach. Next here, we have a lot of palettes that I only have maybe one of the brand, or these are brands that you may have never heard of. So this is my other section over here. Down in this corner, we have some Wet n Wild. We have a Kylie Cosmetics, my first ever Kylie Cosmetics palette. We have also my first ever um, Lime Crime palette. I fell in love with these colors as soon as I saw it. I definitely want to get more into Lime Crime. We have some Ashley Lee Cosmetics eyeshadow, some Ace Butte eyeshadow, some newer brands, CXO Crush. What is this one? I think this brand no longer is in the markets. Palladio, Sunkissed Mirage, some Crystal Hearts, Storybook, if you guys have tried it, it came out in BoxyCharm, some Disco Till Dawn Bodyography. I believe this is like a mini, mini palette, yeah. It's a little mini palette, super cute colors. So if you definitely want to find out more about brands that you guys may never have heard of before, I definitely have a variety in here. Some Olimar Cosmetics, all of that fun stuff. If we go up here, I have all of my eyelash needs. This whole entire jar is full of eyelashes. I need to get another one because I'm running out of space. I also filled up this top drawer of eyelashes as well. If you guys wanted to know my favorite lashes, right now I have to say it is Pure Cosmetics. I'm obsessed with their lashes. They're so easy to put on, they're lightweight, and they're really good quality. Look how cute these are. Another favorite of mine is also Lily Lashes as well. Very easy to put on. And then over here I have all of my lash glues. One that I just recently bought is this Duo Quick Set Strip Lash Adhesive so that I don't have to wait forever for it to dry. I just put this on, wait five seconds, and then my lashes are ready to go. And then up here are all of my mascaras. I don't have a lot of mascaras just because I hate using mascara. Um, so I don't even use all of these. I think the only ones I realistically only use is this one. Who is it by? L'Oreal? 
the L'Oreal Voluminous Butterfly. I use the It Cosmetics Superhero. And then I believe I use the Clarins Mascara as well. All of the other ones, I rarely ever use them. Um, just because I really don't like mascara. And then on the top here, we have all of my nail polishes. Now in the past, I told myself that I was gonna do nail polishes on myself and on other people. So I created this whole entire cubby where you can see all of the different nail polish colors are organized. And I also have dip powder down here. However, I found a really awesome nail tech and now I only ever go to him. So I don't use any of these. So I probably will be giving them to my sisters and my nieces because um, I really never touch this cubby and I would rather use it for more palettes. So I do use a nail polish organizer to organize my palettes. Um, this is what it's supposed to look like and then this is what I turn it to. So in case you're looking for a palette organizer, go ahead and buy yourself a nail polish organizer. Alright guys, so that is the end of my video. If you guys have any questions about any of the products that you guys saw, please let me know. As well, if you still do want to see a declutter video, please comment below and let me know. As far as the giveaway for this video goes, make sure you are subscribed to my channel. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and then comment below what type of new videos you guys want to see on my YouTube channel. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you on the next one. Bye!